Hello again from East Coast Fibreglass, the UK's favourite fibreglass supplier. In this video we're going to show you how we cast our bee sculpt in an amber coloured transparent epoxy. First we made our former for the mould using carved PU foam coated with EC42 body filler. The filler was sanded, coated with Durabuild grey surface primer and when cured wet and dried and then polished to a high shine using Ferrecla Select polishing compound. The former was hot glued to a wood base and then surrounded in cardboard to create a leak proof container. Solastic 3481 RTV silicon was poured into the container covering our former with at least one inch of silicon all around. The silicon was then degassed in a degassing chamber to remove any air bubbles. While the mould was curing, we mixed amber and a tiny amount of magenta transparent pigment to create the tone of colour we needed for our resin. Just a tiny amount was added to the epoxy base resin, ensuring we made enough of the coloured batch to fill the mould. We're using SR Greencast Clear Epoxy. We measured just enough epoxy and hardener to fill our mould halfway. We then degassed the resin and hardener mix to remove any air bubbles before pouring. We covered the mould to make sure that no dust got into our resin while it cured. While the resin cured for several days, we started work on the bee. The bee was sculpted and modelled by local artist Neil Sims using our Milliput two-part epoxy clay. Then the model was hand-painted by Neil using acrylic paint. Once the clear epoxy had cured, the bee was fixed into place using a very tiny amount of superglue on the bee's wing tips. We then added more of our epoxy resin into the mould. We also very carefully degassed the resin while in the mould to ensure no trapped air was caught around the bee. We then made a base for our amber bee cast by again making a former from various materials and milliput. This had four holes drilled into it to form locking points for when we glued in our amber casting. We also left a void in the base to house some LED lights to illuminate the cast. Then we're repeating the previous steps of making a silicon mould so we could easily reproduce the base. The LED lights were installed into the base and extra detail was added before painting. When we were happy with the fit and our amber casting had more work done to polish the surface, we glued our casting in place using some standard epoxy laminating resin. All the materials shown in this project can be bought from our website at ecfibreglasssupplies.co.uk or just search for EC Fibreglass. Thanks for watching and see you again soon. Bye for now.